So I've decided to do a uh, follow-up video of my experiment. Um, if you haven't already seen my experiment, uh, please check it out on my channel. That's called Curvature of the Earth Experiment, uh, where I uh, attempted to uh, film, or well, basically trying to see if I can view objects in the distance uh, and see if they're at all uh, obstructed by uh, supposed curvature of a 40,000 kilometer uh, circumference uh, spherical Earth. Um, I felt that my conclusion on that video wasn't very good, so I decided to um, just clarify a few things. Also make an emphasis on my uh, second shot of the city, uh, which was on either Rye Beach or um, Tukaruk Beach. The objects I was basically um, uh, viewing were the uh, Melbourne City skyscrapers. Three buildings that you could um, distinctly see or distinguish were uh, the Eureka Tower and the two uh, Grolo Towers. I don't actually know the name of the, the specific name of the buildings. Uh, I just call them Grolo Towers because I knew that they were, they were done by Bruno Grolo and his company. I think they're on Collins Street. Uh, they both got you know sort of tips on them and you can make them out. And here's a screenshot of the Google Earth screen. As you can see there, uh, the bottom tip of that yellow line is where I was, and the top tip is what I was observing, uh, the Melbourne city skyline, and um, where I was was around Rye Beach. And as you can see there, 36 miles. The one thing I did wrong in my experiment is I didn't take into account uh, the height above sea level my camera was. Uh, as you can see here, um, it can make a bit of a difference. I use this website. I'll put a link in the description so uh, you can see for yourself. Um, in the top field, you can put your distance in miles, and in the bottom field, there, as you can see, you can put um, uh, the viewer's height in feet, so they can take into account. And this will calculate it for you correctly. Um, and as you can see there, the um, the amount hidden should be about. 765 feet rather than my um, I think it was 909 feet that I'd calculated in my original video. We'll just have another look at the footage that I took that day. I just want you to have a look at the uh, Melbourne city from just uh, a much closer distance from approximately the same angle. And now just compare it to the other uh, footage that I took. Now we know that the, uh, the Eureka Tower is 984 feet above sea level and going by what that, um, that website calculates, 765. So if we subtract uh, 765 from the 984 feet, uh, we get 219 feet. So as you can see in the in the screenshot of my footage, um, you know there's there, there could be approximately uh, 219 there. Um, it's sort of impossible to tell though. Uh, now this is where it becomes a little. Um, open to interpretation. Um, in my opinion, uh, that's approximately the correct amount of uh, curvature obstruction. Others might argue that that doesn't uh, prove curvature um, for a couple of reasons. They think that um, uh, that's just how it would look with perspective um, or their waves, the waves are, are creating that. But um, I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys. Feel free to leave your comments. Thanks for watching.